1999, a joint resolution of Congress recognized the athlete of the 20th century. It was a man today many have never heard of, an Indian from Oklahoma named Jim Thorpe. It was the times to educate the Indian, to get them away from being heathens and learn to eat with a, my fork and spoon. It was not a real comfortable existence for many of those homesick children. And quite frankly, I found out that Jim Thorpe was one of many Indian children. When they got the opportunity, they were heading out of Dodge. These guys were practicing high jump, and nobody could get over that bar. And said so it went over the top of the bar. It had a couple inches to spare. And Warner saw that and said, what the hell's that? I personally think that the Oorang Indians, the Canton Bulldogs, were teams that probably introduced people to pro football. Coming to big league like he did, I thought he was a hell of a ball player. He was fast, and he could do anything. He's the only Olympic athlete to ever participate in 17 events. He won the decathlon, and also he won the pentathlon. You know, people were mystified. Dad had a very sad personal life. He lost his twin. He lost his mother. He lost his father. His first son he lost. His first child. I know Dad would say, uh, all those medals, those trophies, they're material items. You can replace material items. You can't replace what you have in here. And I think if there was really any hurt, that that's where it came from, was being the people that he trusted turning on him to save their own careers. It's legend, legend in Indian country. Listening to my dad, he says, uh, if there's anybody that can outrun you, it's Jim Thorpe. Whenever I'd get down and tired sometimes, I used to always think about it in my mind about Jim Thorpe doing what he did, and it would motivate me to just keep running and just keep going. 